neighborhood is just north of the D.C. Beltway and it's along the Rock Creek watershed. As Montgomery County authorities confirmed to me that this explosion happened at 12.50 a.m. Yesterday morning, about 1 a.m. in the morning, uh, the house, uh, not next to mine, but two doors down, uh, blew up. Completely leveled to the ground. I'll take you guys to it and I'll show you. But it it basically was just a just massive, massive explosion. It's ridiculous. You know what I was just thinking is um, they're really going to have a closed off a lot now from your house down, it looks like. Yeah, they're not going to be letting anybody in because they're doing that investigation with the ATF because they're now Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms Bureau. Oh, really? Yeah, they're the ones who have to investigate stuff like, you know, the uh, Boston bombing and okay. I think, you know, uh, more serious stuff, usually like gun-related things or yeah. alcohol, tobacco, and fire. <laughs> Anyways. It's a terrible thing, man. So it, 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 looks like, it looks like there were three bombs that were set off in the uh, house still figure out what it was sort of like a recluse guy I like I've never seen him I've lived here for a few years never seen the guy so this is my, right here. So my house is right there this is the house right next to it and right behind that bamboo was the house that uh, went kaboom I would I would actually compare it to a car accident the way it felt it felt really really weird but if I felt so bad because the the little boys the two little twin boys in the house their room is right in the back, right there, and the blast was closest to that room. Uh, it blasted like into into their room. Yeah, poor little kids, but thank God they were fine. You know, but emotionally, that's gonna really affect them. That was where the house was. Um, oh, got a lady, Lady Popo. I wouldn't mess with her. I just wouldn't. It's not something I would desire to do. I like all these houses. They have like windows and stuff blown out. We only had, we had three windows um, completely shattered. Right behind that is my neighbor's house. And then right there is my house. You can't really see it through the bamboo. Wow, I didn't realize how, how close Dan's house was, dude. Dan's house is right there. Yeah, it's literally like, you look at that deer right there. And um, wow, it's literally right behind that dungeon, like 10 feet behind that house. Oh my gosh. When I came out here, I came out here right after it happened. And I stood right there, um, and it was just like gone, completely gone. It was leveled. So I had a repair order. Um, now you gotta get, gotta get that joint filled. Let's <laughs> go. That's a nice beard. <laughs> that was a quality beard. That was a big beard, yeah. <laughs> you got the nail it. Uh, if it's the electronic one, I should be able to just scan it. Oh, that's cool. It was the right one that was out. Okay. Yeah. Alright, here's the original. Alright, thank and you. This is just the uh, sign off that says, here's my signature and all that. It Perfect. Says you're good to go. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Any questions? Right. Nope. Alright. Alright, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Too. So I just found out um, they pulled out a body, the remains, uh, the remains of the guy. And, uh, well, they don't know if it's the guy, but pretty much likely to be the guy. Yes, it's probably the guy. Yeah. Um, unless there's foul play. Ooh. There might be foul play, man. Who knows? Never know. They're doing an autos autopsy. Autopsy. Autopsy, man. But Bi biopsy? No. No. It's autopsy. an autopsy, man. Autopsy? No, not op. Autopsy. Autopsy. A U. <laughs> That's right, man. You're right. Topsy. You're right. Don't be laughing at me. No, I'm just kidding. So what's the moral of the story, children? I would say one. I say, I say it, I think that I think that it's a threefold, it's a trifold moral. Number one, don't blow up your house. Number two, don't freaking blow up your house. It's it's not cool. And number three. What's number three, man? If a house blows up next to you, run. <laughs> oh, 
uh, true. On a serious note, it's sort of sad when a person gets to that point where, you know, they feel like the only way out is to, to first of all, kill themselves. Also, not really considering other people, they were, like I was saying, they were, they were the twins, you know, in the house next to them, like six-year-old kids that, um, that could have been a person walking by. They were so, you know? so seriously blessed that they didn't get injured at all. Don't blow up your house, you know? Don't try that at home. If any of you guys are feeling like that, like, like you're by yourself, like, th this guy was just like, I've never seen him. Never. I've lived here for like four years, never seen him. So you obviously like just felt so, disconnected. so alone, dis so disconnected, like, like what he was going through, like no one else goes through. And you know, this, you know, the same thing that, that people think over and over and over. Um, and if you guys are thinking that, if you guys are in that situation, it's, it's not true. You know, there are so many people, you're not the first person who's, who's dealt with this. I know it feels that way, but, um, but you just know that, that you're not alone. And if you just reach out to, to people, people are always willing to, to, uh, you know, talk to you and help, help you, um, go to Jesus. Seriously, go, go to like your local church, talk to a pastor. Yeah. They would be more than, more than happy to, uh, to help you guys out. And, uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. On that note, good advice. Peace out, guys.